Hello, it's Ange and this is my thrift haul for February 2017. It's already been two months, wow, uh, months, months? It's already been two months, wow, okay. Um, just like last time, I decided to put the normal stuff first and then put the large stuff second. And large stuff starts at that time. So, let's start with something fairly normal. And that would be this shirt. Because you can never have enough play shirts, as I am demonstrating right now. Uh, this is one of my father's, which I um, liberated from him, maybe. But at some point he said I could just keep it, you know. This is a more lightweight version for summer, and it also has snap buttons, and I love snap buttons with uh, shirts, just as I <laughs> told you last time. Okay, so, that's that. Not so normal, <laughs> but uh, also something we already had last time in a way, is this apron. It has tiny blue stripes, which makes it so pretty. And it has lace. And the camera is picking up, yay! And has a weird little goose here, and I'm so going to cut this off. Um, I didn't get the servant spot at Fairweather Manor, by the way, but I still love uh, aprons. Aprons? Aprons, sorry. Um, still not a native speaker, still no idea what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to keep this for Mori K or... Uh, Lolita, or, you know, general being quaint and cute and stuff purposes. Next thing that is kind of weird too would be this picture. It's some sort of botanical illustration and uh, for some reason I wanted to take it home and it's it's not just a picture, it's actually some si some kind of satin and uh, I have no idea what to do with this yet. Where I'll put it or where where it's gonna end up, but I like it and this is why I took it home. Also from the category of I liked it so I took it home would be this pillow cover from Ikea. I just like the fabric, it's rather homespun and it's pretty and I like it and I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but it's probably going to end up in one of my craft projects. You might have noticed that I'm filming in the living room instead of my room uh, today, which is because I wanted to show you this. This. It's so beautiful. It's velvet, uh, velveteen, and uh, we found enough in the thrift store to cover our sofa, and now it's bright and yellow, and I love it. And I still have a tiny piece left for my craft project, so yay! Um, my hair is kind of weird today. Okay, so this is kind of cheating because these weren't thrifted. They were given to me by a friend who wanted to get rid of them. But aren't they pretty? I love these glass drops and I have, a, have an extra big one too. Um, she just... Oh, one of them fell down. Uh, but it landed safely on the shirt, so everything's alright. She wanted to get rid of them and, well, uh, she she's going to... she's moving away and this is why she parked... Uh, she parked the stuff she wanted to get rid of at our place <laughs> and we were in charge of giving it away uh, on Facebook and stuff. And uh, so we had first dibs, and I, among other things, got these. Aren't they pretty? I have no idea where to hang them, but oh. um, we have sun catchers right at the window over there. So uh, probably some of them are probably going to end up there. So of course I bought doilies, as always, because I always buy doilies. Um, and two of them are triangle shaped, which is cool because I am probably going, and, and they're similar, they're basically twins, and um, I'm probably going to put them over 
some pocket flaps or something like that because I really like the idea or maybe on two matching shoulder shoulder thingies and uh, because most of the doilies where I shop are one of these uh, six for euro something offers I have also this and this is probably the weirdest and most shapelicious doily I've ever thrifted would be this. Also from the friend whom I got the uh, glass drops from, I also got trim. And uh, speaking of trim, I also got this. It's just white lace. It's not much, about, I don't know, meter one and a half, something like that, but um, yeah, I never turn down trim, especially not with my boyfriend having projects with, you know, eight meters of lace. And I also bought this for new fake threads. You usually get those at the craft store too for, I don't know, two or three euros, and I got mine for 50 cents, so I took it home. And even more trim! And I have no idea how many meters this is, but it's quite a lot. And I don't even know yet what to use it for, but it's probably going to end up on a, on a quilt. Right, um, remember last time the kind of weird uh, handkerchief thing? Yeah, I got more of that. Um, but it's, it's not quite as weird as last time. Uh, so I have this, which is probably going to end up in some project or other. I got the uh, Ordinary Princess, uh, which is so beautifully illustrated here. And oh, yeah, there's a grumpy old uh, water fairy in the book, and she's so cool. Hashtag styles. And of course it has a dashing prince. And uh, it's it's a great uh, modern fairy tale. So I love it. I'm glad I bought it. Uh, I already read it. Of Another thing would be this in... This incredibly 80s crafts and sewing book. And it's great. It's... Uh, so retro <laughs> in a way and it has knitting patterns for example this one and um, I haven't even uh, looked through the whole thing yet it has a lot of knitting patterns and it has um, it has Art Nouveau uh, embroidery patterns which is great because I love Art Nouveau uh, and even here with the typeface and everything and the patterns just fell out and for things like elephant plushies it's amazing and in the same way I have from the same friend another crafts book oh it looks like the 70s um, and has uh, really cute patterns. I'm, I'm so looking forward to spending a little more time with this book and exploring all the amazing possibilities I get from this because it's... Uh, I mean, look at this. Looks like from a Sarah Kay book. At least also, same friend, is this pattern. It's so incredibly not historical but um, who who would say no to this I'm going to make one of these dresses at some point just because I wanna okay this is the lob section and those of you who are not interested in my weird hobby um I'm going to uh, pause or stop the video now bye nice Jeff you have had you here. So, um, also I got this, which is some sort of belt trim thingy. It's definitely handmade. And it 
fits one of my old characters perfectly. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'll play her again ever, but in case I got this and it's extremely sturdy. Um, I probably couldn't tow a car with that, but is that important? Really? Does that, re does that really matter? Um, but if not, um, this is just going into the funders and the um, costuming chest at our home where we keep all the stuff we might lend to people who want to try out LARP. Um, same, same, but different. Uh, I got this cape. Is that even showing? Yeah, it is. This is a cape. Um, it's perfect for LARP for a beginner. And this is mainly to show you that uh, this is to show you that you can find basically everything for LARP except maybe weapons uh, in your local thrift store. I just uh, changed the buttons. This is a more natural looking button. It used to have normal plastic buttons, but now it's horn. And yeah, I'm perfectly content with this. Uh, this is going to be either for one of my characters or for a friend who's who wants to try out LARPing. <clears throat> Definitely for me would be this one plate, uh, which I already put the name of my main character on Triff and a uh, bunny with a fishtail which is our um, which is our coat of arms um, or sigil if you'd be at Game of Thrones. Another thing for the encampment would be this thingy. Uh, I like those for storing food or small items in the camp because they don't interrupt the ambience or the immersion. And I got another doily and uh, it would be this. And if you ask why this isn't with the other doilies, oh it's nice, oh it feels good. Um, why this isn't with the other doilies, it's because I could easily make a hairnet from this. Got it because of that. Uh, just in case one of my character needs one or a friend of mine needs one because a friend of mine is trying to convince his girlfriend to come along and maybe she'll need one and it can't hurt, can it? Again, for me, would be this uh, glass bracelet. I'm probably going to... Yep, uh, I'm so going to take it apart because it's too small for me. But it is traditionally made. It is not see-through, which is a little bit like Viking or even uh, some Celtic, as in continental, archaeological... If, uh, as in uh, continental archaeological Celts um, uh, style and we have finds for that and uh, yeah this is for probably for Drift my main character uh, or I like it anyway I like the color can you tell that yellow is one of my favorite colors no really <laughs> I also got this from Be Friend with the droplets and everything and it's a mask. It's not specifically for any of my characters or any of my boyfriend's characters but it's again something for the costume in chest. And it's made of leather and it's awesome. Eh. And I also got another beeswax candle because you can never have enough of these. If you see one of these at the thrift store and your LARPA, get them because they're awesome. They're so much better than 
modern looking candles and they smell better and you can use them to seal off things you can use them to you can actually use them as snacks because beeswax is basically the ancient chewing gum or one of the options for ancient chewing gum um, makes me think of the chest from Terry Pratchett and uh, yeah the connector here is sadly lost but I'll make up something for that and it's really pretty I'm probably going to age it somehow again but oh also one of, one of the legs is missing but I don't mind that I can easily make something up for that and last but not least it's a lamp again surprise uh, this time it is basically like a position lamp from a ship, which is great because of the whole seafaring thing of my lab group. And uh, we have two red sides and two green sides. And uh, the light is put in through the bottom. And the beeswax tea light was already in there. So I'm so oops. I'm so looking forward to using this in, an, in our encampment and it's really really pretty and sturdy and it was actually not even that expensive and yeah but I think I'm good with uh I'm 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 good with lamps for now. <laughs> And that's it. So uh, I hope you liked my thrift haul for February. Please tell me what you liked the most down in the comments. If you want more of these, like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll probably keep it up with the uh, LARP and normal stuff division thingy. So thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you again or you'll see me again rather. Bye!